I'm here with Kathy, the official spokesperson for the Christmas Farm Inn here in Jackson, and the place is so beautiful. Thank you. I, I love it. It has such a warm feeling, and it's Christmas all year round. Well, I guess you can have it that way if you'd like. <laughs> so now, tell me a little bit about the history of the Christmas Farm Inn. Well, the Christmas Farm Inn started off as, it dates back, we have one of the oldest buildings in Jackson, dates back to 1776, I believe. And the Christmas Farm Inn actually became that as of, I believe it's 1946. And a couple bought it and they established it. And since then it's changed and evolved into many different things. And now Gary and Sandra Plord have it and they are really changing things. I feel making such great differences in the food and the inn itself. And we also have the spa, which is a new building that's been added since 2001. And just making a lot of progress and trying to stay with the times and making it a great destination for folks to come. The food here in the restaurant is uh, cooked by a award winning chef, Stan. Yes. And now we were talking earlier off camera uh, how to describe the food here and it's sort of bistro-esque. I think what the nice part is is we adapt our menu to the seasons as well so we're making changes. It's not the same all the time all year round. Of course some of the famous dishes that we have remain on the menu year round but there are some changes and we try to have a little bit lighter food for the summertime and then your comfort food for the winter time. Okay, well the food smells amazing mm -hmm. and I yes. want to start talking about it. So now Certainly. this is one of your appetizers. Yes. So the calamari. So tell me a little bit about this dish. It's the crispy calamari and it's dusted in a nice five flavor dusting which is some different herbs and then we make our own five flavor sauce and it's served on a really lovely bed of seaweed and it's seaweed salad. And you can squeeze a little lime on it if you choose, but it's so flavorful and very it's, delicious. It's so different. It's sort of Asian inspired. I've yes. never really tasted anything quite like that. So good, <laughs> so good. Now this is also an appetizer. Yes, it is. So now tell me about the mussels. Um, they're actually Prince Edward Island mussels, so they're a little bit meatier than some of your other mussels. And anybody that's a mussel connoisseur out there, they just they have these mussels and they love them. We have a little bit of chorizo sausage and plum tomatoes, and then there's a white wine and so you dip butter. you dip this in here. Oh sure. Okay. And then you have to try the garlic bread dipped in there, the garlic mm. toast. Sometimes folks ask for more bread. To, to get all the juices oh, yes, and the good stuff in there. Have yeah. to get all of it. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. What a great flavor on that too. Isn't I love it, nice? it. Wow. Yes. So now one of the favorites here that you probably can't take off the menu is the lamb, right? People love the lamb shank. Yes, the lamb shank. It, it's of course you can see it's such a lovely dish and it's you know, everything is right there. The lamb is fork tender, absolutely wonderful, and we serve it with the vegetables. And today we have the um, mixed potatoes, a little bit of regular and sweet potato, and you can kind of get both flavors going, and it's got the nice pan-seared sauce in there. It's quite delicious. Now, I love the fancy way how he gets the potatoes half and half like that. It's really pretty. Yes. So you can tell he's really into the presentation, so you're eating the food with your eyes first. Absolutely. Really great. It needs to look nice in order for you to taste nice. <laughs> <laughs> so now in front of you is another one of the house specialties, correct? Yes. And what is that? This is the maple pecan salmon. Um, I probably sell this most if, when I'm working in the dining room. This is one of the favorites of the customers. Customers. It's so, it's got that sweet and the fish taste and it all kind of blends together and the maple on the top when they bake the fish in the oven and then they add the maple pecan topping it kind of gets into there but it mm -hmm. doesn't mask the flavor of the fish which is really you don't want to cover anything up you want to enhance everything and we have a wild rice blend that's next to it and then we have our um, baby carrots which I think look so lovely all, all the cute. colors look great <laughs> yes they are <laughs> so another great fish dish you have is something that's new to the menu yes absolutely this is we named it the east west haddock and it's got just a nice light dusting of herbs and some blends on the outside of the haddock. And it's served, that would be the Atlantic, you know, this side fair, the fish side fair. And then to get the West Coast flair, it's got a nice um, almost salsa type underneath and it has all the different color peppers, red and green and, and orange peppers with some white beans and it's just kind of made into sort of like a salsa and it has a little bit of spice in it, jalapenos to kind of mm. give you that flair of, you know, the west, west coast, southwest flair. 
Now you also do a great steak, so Chef Stan prepared this in the kitchen. So what kind of steak is this? That is green apple bourbon steak. And it's so nice when you're cooking it. They've got the bourbon in the pan and it's fired up and they put the sauce in there and the, the steak is a really nice sirloin cut. So tender and delicious. Green beans and carrot mix for the vegetable and then they take the roasted potatoes to the next level. They don't just um, you know roast the potatoes and serve them like that. They put a little turmeric on them and a few other spices and it kind of gives it that nice little bit of crunchiness on the outside. Well, the steak is and very flavorful. Yes. Very tender and delicious. I, I, I love That's that. That's one of our most popular steaks as far as steak meals go. Mm. Now you're also famous here for your desserts. And we looked earlier at um, the um, creme brulee, mm -hmm. but this in front of us is like unbelievable. Tell me about this. This is the chocolate bag. This is one of Stan's signatures. Um, it has, essentially, it's a bag made out of chocolate. And he uses a coffee bag because you can, we actually paint three layers on. If you don't paint three layers of chocolate on, and you have to let it freeze in between each layer. And if you don't do that, then when we try to put the ice cream and the brownie and the berry compote and everything inside, then the bag breaks. So we have, it's, it's a lot of work, but absolutely it's delicious. It's so beautiful. Now, this is a sharing dessert. Oh, well, yes, I've seen maybe one or two people eat it themselves, but most of the time I think I might get be able to. I, I probably could too. I love chocolate. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Yes, so nice. And all the berries, it. seasonal. We try to keep everything within season and buy local as much as we can. Well, also I love about the inn is you have a great pub area. Yes. But we had a drink made, and so what is this drink that I have? That's called the Morning Glory Martini. That it tastes almost a little grapefruity, but it there is not any grapefruit in it. Pineapple juice, orange juice, and some guava. So I think that's what kind of those things blended together give it that flavor. And it's a vodka-based drink? It has vodka, rum, and brandy. Ooh, so it's that nice. is delicious. Very refreshing. It's a great summertime martini. Absolutely. Very good. Absolutely. <laughs> now, the Christmas Farm Inn is, all, is, is a resort. Yes. It's situated on how many acres here? 15 acres. Okay, and you have how many different buildings? Uh, 20 different buildings. Okay, so you have cottages and you have... Yes. Um, we have cottages, which we have the log cabin, one of the favorites, because it's very um, New England-esque. Then we have the barn, which the barn actually has four rooms, and they're very... Um, if when you go inside and you walk in, you can actually see the rafters, and they even have the hooks as to where they had that when they pulled the hay bales up and so forth. That's so cool. it's really neat. And the barn is also used for functions. Uh, we can do up to an 80-person wedding in the barn, and it is absolutely magical when the place is all lit and set up for a wedding, and it's just beautiful. Well, the whole in the whole Christmas farm is very romantic. Yes, it really is yes, very romantic. Is. So now, tell me a little bit about um, the spa area. Uh, that's up at the Carriage House, a fairly new building back in 2001. It was um, built. So, Sandra, yes. we are here at the Carriage, carriage House. That's yes. right, yes. The Carriage House was built in 2001 and houses uh, 12 suites and our Aveda Concept Spa. Ooh, I can't wait would to you see. like to see it? I would love to see okay, it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is lovely in yes. here. Yes, very nice. Yes, this is the lobby of the Carriage House. This is for our guests to relax in. We also do wedding ceremonies in here. Very nice, very yes. nice. So tell me a little bit about the spa services that are available here. Well, uh, we have an Aveda Concept Spa. It's a full service spa. We love the product. We believe in the product. It's 100% uh, uh, comes 100% from sustainable sources. 90% uh, of their product line is organic. Um, and they are, you know, they are very innovative. They always come up with new products. Their uh, most recent treatment that they've just introduced is called Stress Fix. It's um, lavender based, which comes from France, and is clinically proven to reduce symptoms of stress. So they have that claim to fame. So we offer nail treatments, facials, massages, and also body treatments. The Carriage House has 12 suites. So they are two room suites with a separate sitting room with a fireplace private balcony that overlooks the White Mountains. Then there's a large bathroom with a jacuzzi tub, which is very popular, of course. Ooh. And they all have king beds as well. So they're very, very comfortable rooms. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, we sell a lot of romance packages here, so which is a two-night stay with a bottle of champagne and two spa treatments. Yeah, we see this place as being a place where people can actually truly 
rejuvenate and relax and, and you know and find their own happiness in you know in, in the many activities that this area has to offer. That's wonderful. Now you don't have to stay at the inn in you order don't, to use no. the spa. Absolutely. Actually anybody who comes to use our spa is also welcome to use our facilities for free. So they can use the indoor and outdoor pool and fitness center as well. Yeah, I love that. And then they can go and have some a delicious dinner. Absolutely. Very nice. Kathy, I really love it here at the Christmas Farm Inn. It's it really is magical. And I look forward to coming back time and time again. Well, thank you, Helen. It's yeah. wonderful to have you, and I appreciate you coming. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.